Welcome back to the Prepare Like a Pro live chat Sunday show. My name is Jack McLean. I'm the host, and today I'll be debriefing last week's live interviews. I'll be announcing the upcoming podcast episodes for the week, as well as updating all things Prepare Like a Pro. In terms of our live interviews last week, we had JB Morin, who's an acceleration and sprinting expert. He was live on our YouTube channel at at 8 p.m., we discussed sprinting from a biomechanics kinematics point of view as well as kinetics. So we're working on improving your speed and your, your max velocity and the importance of moving with intent from an athlete point of view. JB also talked about some drills that you can do to improve your ability to push the floor away uh, and get true hip extension. Uh, but also reduce the risk of overstriding, which he sees commonly in team-based athletes. We talked about how strength and conditioning coaches have a bias towards being um, over-experienced in the gym, but not having experience with as much experience with speed-based training, which definitely is the case for me. I spent the good half, the first half of my career, predominantly in the gym, rather than the track, track and field um, scenario. So. Um, we talked about the importance of getting exposure to track and field coaches, learning off track and field coaches, and being able to see how to run a proper speed-based session. Um, we talked about the importance of using drills, but also making sure that we are sprinting regularly. Also, from a loading point of view, when working with T-based athletes, um, JB discussed how you want to do your hard accelerations, your short distance-based accelerated work, separate to your max velocity-based stuff more from an injury prevention point of view. So for athletes listening in or for developing strength and conditioning coaches, important that you don't get excited and start going out and doing lots and lots of acceleration work and lots and lots of max velocity work. We want to try and gradually build into it. Uh, we get a lot of benefits from doing speed and power-based work, but also you've got to respect the loads and respect where the athletes come from. Have they done a lot of that type of training before? Um, so for... JB's interview that will be uh, launched on our podcast in the next two months um, to be able to watch the YouTube channel. We've posted, uh, posted a highlights reel where you can watch uh, six minutes of um, real bang for buck areas where uh, JB discusses uh, some key topics around sprinting and power-based training for athletes. So you can see that on our uh, YouTube channel. Last week, we also had a great chat and live interview with Don Scott. It was actually a face-to-face -face interview where we talked about his career as a professional footballer. Don played three premierships, two as captain at the Hawthorne Football Club. He was a strong leader. He was a fierce leader. So we talked about feedback um, and how back then it was all about constructive feedback and leading by example, and that was his leadership style. Um, you, you know, you can, he didn't get too caught up in what other people were doing. He showed, he led by what worked for him, focused on the present. I didn't get too caught up with what was going on in the past. Uh, he talked about how, you know, he didn't talk, think about too much in the future. It was all about what was in front of him, um, which was uh, really good to listen to. And there was a lot of great, um, philosophy type leadership type of skills that came through it uh, don was also instrumental his business was instrumental with his team in preventing the merge of melbourne football club and hawthorne club so it was great to talk about that uh, and then also what he's been doing post-career with channel 7 in the commentating space his um, experience with in business he's had businesses since he was 22 uh, and then he's running his podcast as well with with sam newman you can't be you cannot be serious podcast and we also talked which is where we uh, actually hosted the, the interview and we we also discussed uh, his love for horse training uh, which was quite fascinating and how he approaches his training with horses and how it's really individual to the horse on how they are with their nutrition as well as the training they respond to so you mentioned how some horses need to work every day and other horses need to be do more power-based training and same with their nutrition and digestive system they they responded differently to, to the different types of food. So super interesting chat with Don. Make sure to catch that. You can also watch that on our YouTube channel and then we'll post the recording for our podcast for those listening in podcast world in the upcoming couple of months. We're about eight weeks ahead with our live chat. So if you watch the live, Propel Like a Pro live chats and you listen to the podcast, they're about eight weeks ahead, the live chats, to when, they, when we post the recordings. And it was a big week. We had three 
live interviews last week. So Jackie Lauder, who's the sports psychologist at Collingwood Football Club, as well as the Mel- at Melbourne Storm, and she's got a clinic in the Olympic Park Centre there. Um, she came on Thursday night, and it was a great chat. I know we haven't had a lot of sports psychologists on. I've been meaning to try and get a, a couple on. Um, they're really, really busy, um, obviously, with everything that's been going on in Melbourne with COVID. Um, so it has been challenging with their schedules, but it was great to have Jackie on. I really appreciate her time. Um, Lucas Odea also came on and asked some great questions. He's on our academy um, and asked some questions around performance and how to mentally prepare yourself, but also how to deal with injury and long-term injury uh, and then even team dynamics as well. So Lucas asked some really great questions around how the team can gel and with different personalities. Um we also talked about some different things that you can do on the field to help your performance. Jackie works not only with the Collingwood Football Club men's team, but also the women's team. So she talked about different things that she does, uh, how on the men's she started working on the bench uh, and creating analogies for players. So when they when a mistake happens on the field, they think back to what their strengths are, so whether it be their footwork or their kicking ability. Uh, and that's where you may notice on, on players' tapes when the camera catches it on their wrist, um, that they've got certain words that mean or an acronym that means something to them. Um, so it was a great, another great interview. Uh, it was an awesome week actually on the podcast last week for our live chats. Um, so if you missed those live chats, you can watch all of them on our YouTube channel and then we'll post that podcast recording very soon. In terms of next week, we have Beatrice Devlin, who is our Perth Prepare Like a Pro coach on the podcast at 8pm to discuss her AFLW career as well as her strength and conditioning philosophy. So all for all our Perth listeners, I know we've worked with a lot of on uh, athletes online, you can now do face-to-face training with Prepare Like a Pro with Beatrice. So if you're interested in working with us and working with Beatrice, make sure to watch this live chat to get to know her professionally as well as uh, personally. And I'm really looking forward to sharing um, Bayer's uh, story, both as an athlete as well as a coach. Next week, we have Gary McCoy. That podcast episode will drop on Tuesday. He's a high-performance coach based in America um, with a sports science background. He spent the majority of his career working in analytics and baseball, so it was really good to hear um, the work that he's done, and, and there's a fair few Australians over in America now really um, working in the sports science space and having a uh, scientific approach with their training and, and Gary talked about how it's it's growing in America, that approach and a real integrated approach with Australian philosophy and, and the American performance philosophy. So that real art and science is really starting to gel, um, which is awesome to hear. So you can listen into that podcast on Tuesday. And then on Friday, for us, we always launch two episodes every week, Tuesdays and Fridays. On Friday, we've got Jordan Stairs, the West Coast Eagles strength and conditioning coach. We talked about his career, what's worked for him, his the mistakes he made and how he's learned from those growth periods in his career, um, how what he found really helpful for him to be able to get a foot in the door at West Coast Eagles. So for the strength and conditioning coaches that listen into the podcast, um, definitely catch Jordan's chat on Friday. Um, it, was, it was an awesome interview and uh, he's someone that I lucky enough met in our gym in Paran at Edge Training um, and we are really looking forward to sharing his journey. And um, no doubt, if you want to work in elite sport, this is one that you definitely want to listen into. In terms of updates happening at Prepare Like a Pro, we have a free 14 day trial at the moment, and this is something we'll do for the rest of the year. So, if you want to try out our online strength and conditioning program to improve your speed, power, and, and get faster as well, uh, as well as improve your 2K time trial this summer, make sure to try out our program by going to our website, preparelikeapro.com, and filling in your details where you'll get an automatic email. Uh, as well as sign up to our newsletter and get you know, whenever we, I write a blog that will sent, be sent out to our newsletter and we send out free present performance presentations on things like nutrition, sleep and recovery on our email list as well. Um, I just completed my ASCA, so Australian Strength and Conditioning Level 3 course, which is a four-day course. Uh, unfortunately, it was online due to COVID, uh, but it was great to work with the practitioners on that course. Um, I learned so much on the course itself, but also from the practitioners, strength and conditioning coaches. Um, In that course, the in-between chats that we had was hugely valuable. And uh, I've got down some really good notes as well as um, some takeaways for 
uh, our athletes on the program as well as uh, the strength and conditioning coaches on our academy format. So I'll make sure to uh, absorb all that information as best I can over the next few days and I'll create some presentations for all those on our academy. And um, yeah, really look forward to sharing that knowledge. I'm also presenting at the Australian Strength and Conditioning Co Conference this year. So that is going to be an online conference. It's all weekend on November 12th. So if you're interested in joining, I uh, really recommend it, particularly, obviously, if you're a personal trainer or a coach, this will be a great uh, conference for you to absorb and learn of all different types of coaches. Uh, my presentation is going to be around how to develop an online semi-automated strength and conditioning business like Prepare Like a Pro. I talk about the basics of the framework that I do here uh, and why I created it from my time um, once my role was made redundant at Hawthorne, the reasons I created um, Prepare Like a Pro. So uh, it's something I'm really passionate about and, and something that I know other personal trainers and strength and conditioning coaches with the industry being so competitive and vulnerable to um, I mean, create your own financial security is really, really important, particularly when you've got a young family. So it's something I'm passionate about and I'll definitely uh, share that presentation after it's been launched with uh, my academy members, but obviously I want to respect the conference and uh, that's private for the next few weeks until it's been presented at that conference. So if you're interested, check out the ASCA website. They've got levels, level one, two, and three, uh, as well as mentorship program, and, and they do a conference every year. They're uh, doing some really good things. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Um, I'm also on Wisdom as well, which is a new app that you can download and join me um, if you ever want to have a live chat and debrief with me. I debrief all our live chats and also do our recording for the Sunday show on Wisdom. So if you ever want to join me for a, a bit of a debrief, feel free to download the Wisdom app and uh, catch me there. Thanks. Have a great week. I'll see you guys on the next episode.